is locked down time. And I have a double stir banker, so I'm making double stir. Chana, Bara, Chutney. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, we're gonna need the flower for the doubles. As you see, I can line up. I line up the turmeric powder, salt, sugar, yeast, and oil, which I'll add to the flour and mix. That's the turmeric powder. We just call saffron and sugar. The yeast. Some brown sugar, some salt, and some vegetable oil. The tallest lockdown, you know, long meter doubles. So I said, let me decide. I decided to try my hand. After watching a lot of YouTube channels showing you how to make the doubles. Okay, I'm mixing up the all the ingredients with the flour. Okay, add the water now to make the dough. Actually, this time I'm needing the flour is the night before I actually made the doubles. I'm needing the flour the night before because they have to let the two rest for at least seven hours. I didn't want to get up in the morning and need the flour then I wait till in the afternoon to make the doubles. So I decided to do it in the night and leave it overnight and in the morning make the doubles. This whole COVID lockdown situation of people doing, learning all new different ways and means to do stuff. As you can see, the dough is very sticky. Mm -hmm. The somewhat yellow color that you get from the turmeric powder or what we call saffron. Okay, taking plastic wrap to cover the basin, this silver basin, what you do here, so I can leave it overnight. I'm no professional doubles maker. I eat a lot of bubbles, doubles, I love doubles. But I'm just trying to do what I saw other people doing on YouTube to make your own doubles. Okay, next day. The chana, the chickpeas. I have some split peas soaking. What I saw on one of the YouTube channels that you could add the channel to split peas to give it a body. The split peas to the channel to give it a body. So I'm washing these split peas right now, or what people will call dal. 
and let it boil until it gets soft or what we say burst when it gets soft add the channel to it so this cook should sort of give it a body and then just use greens of china i saw somebody do that on youtube so i said it sounds interesting so i said i'm gonna try it but boy split peas do take long to do Time to start to boil out the dough for the top to make the barra. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on the border now, so as the dough is not going to stick. But let it dry now, it's still stuck to the boil. What I'm supposed to do is use some metal containers or ceramic plates with oil in it so it won't stick. I guess next time I'll do that. I don't have any measurement, I just average, just grab a little bit and take it out. I just average. I don't really measure the sense like teaspoon or a tablespoon. I must say, welcome to Bubbling Alignment, Tony Style. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, you can subscribe. If you like this video, you can press the like button and you can also share it with your friends. So right now I'm boiling out the dough into little bowls to make the barrel. I don't have any problem cooking, but it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of work. I enjoy when I cook, people eat, and nothing me my back makes me feel good. Actually, it's about 24 little balls I got. Okay, you see the channel, the chickpeas, the curry, salt. Right now, I'm going to cut up my ingredients to make my the pepper chutney. So I'll be using shadow any pepper, cucumber, some salt and some lemon juice. Alright, see the dal in the pot. And I'm going to make my pepper chutney. Red pepper, shadow any, cucumber, some lemon juice, and some salt. Put it in that little chopper and cut up everything.
something I didn't have today, which I missed, is um, mango. I like the sweet mango. I like to make these little sweet mangoes to add to it. But I guess next time I'll get all that. Right now we just have the chutney and some cucumber, grated cucumber, to go with my doubles. I'm going to add the cucumber to the, um, to the pepper. Slice it into four and then cut them into little cubes. Put them into the container. Okay, this is a shadow benny, or what we call calancho, or what some people call it bandania. I'm going to wash it and cut it up in little pieces and add it to the, uh, the pepper and the cucumber, which I will finely chopped to make my chutney. Okay, now I'm going to chop everything very fine using this. some lemon juice. So use a strainer, so make sure no seeds will get into it. If the seeds get into it, they could be very discomforting when biting a seed, a lime seed or lemon seed. You want to get it? Very thin again, so we can mix together.
Until we're ready for it. No. Very hot. Okay, I'm gonna grate some cucumber now to make a little cucumber salad that goes on the doubles. I like cucumber with my doubles. So it's not the dal so it will get soft. It's soft, so I turn it into other pots where I'll be cooking it. The channel and everything. Okay, I'm going to cut up some season to put into the split peas and chana. As well as to, uh, so as to season it. And grate some garlic, cut off some onion, and also shadow onion. I must say my whole family enjoy eating doubles. We all like doubles. And when I make it, we all enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna add the season to the split please now and stir it up. Okay, I'm going to open the channel with a knife. Please do not try this at home. It could be very dangerous. You can cut it. You can have an opener. Use an opener. I don't have an opener, so I'm using it. No, no. Which I'm accustomed to. I'll open the channel and drain out the water from it. And put it in a bowl. I'm using two things in the channel. Oh, check these out. Wait, no need to. Try this, it can be very dangerous. You can slip and cut your hand. Okay, I'm going to add the channel to this trick, please, and the pot. Remember, the channel is pre-cooked already and the soaking and drying. So the channel don't have to soak overnight or boil too much. I'm going to add some water to this so you can cook. Okay, I'm going to stir it up. Add any salt, first thing. Then I'm adding some brown sugar. And then the turmeric to give it that color and flavor. 
or as we say in Shanghai, saffron. And some jira powder. Okay, I'm going to stir it up to make sure everything is mixing properly. Ah, you see what's looking on? Smelling good? We're looking good. I'm going to add some oil to it. Do it again. Okay, trying to cook it. So we'll take it, get them. As we peel that milk, we'll put these good peas, all the dye, and the chow together. I never knew what it but I was I'm looking on YouTube, I saw someone there, and I found it very interesting. Get the pot hot in for the barrel. I'll continue to put the barrel in. Put some oil in that plate and in my hand and spread all the barrel. Tim. Then place it into the frying pan. Cannot leave it too long. Then I'll keep flipping it. Let's cook on both sides. just a little tedious because you have to take it individually and I believe frying one by one is better but that's for me and my family not sit making to sell so take my time about five seconds on both sides and good to go The true Trini food. And believe me, in this time of lockdown, there are real people out there who have a double Stabanka. Kage double. It's, it's flying. It's nice, rich yellow color. I'm gonna flip it. Let's cook on both sides. And then quickly remove it. So, right, this color is bubbling and lime and chili style. Hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching. If you like the video, you can share it, press the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Bubbling and lime and chili style.